Hey, thanks for checking out another Sushi Everyday video. Hope you guys find this useful and subscribe for more. So last winter in Florida, we had several strong cold fronts that came in one after another in a very short period of time. And as a result, it left tens of thousands of these uh, seashells along the beaches here on the west coast. And lucky for me, these fighting conks made up the majority of it, so I had the chance to collect a ton of these uh, conks and try to make a few dishes out of them. Check out this photo from our local newspaper. This was what it looked like for miles up and down the beaches here in Pinellas County. When I was working in restaurants before, I worked with queen conks, but never with fighting conks since they're not commercially harvested. So this was news to me. Um, usually they are spotty to find and you only find one here and there uh, because they're normally in deeper waters away from the beaches. But this was a neat opportunity because they were so easy to harvest after the storms. So I heard of people eating these type of conks before, but like I said, this is a first for me. And as it turns out, they were really good. They're not as sweet as queen conks, but it's not a bad substitute. Also, as of when this video is uploaded, you're legally allowed to collect them in the state of Florida. But do check with your state regulations. Um, I'll post a link below for Florida. The only conk that's banned, I believe, is queen conk, which has been on the prohibited list for a while now. Alright guys, enough of the intro. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Conks spend their entire life on the sea bottom, so naturally they're going to be a little sandy. Unless you like sanding your dishes, I suggest rinsing these thoroughly in running water for at least a minute and make sure to shake them up a bit as you rinse them. Here I'm dropping them in hot water and I'll bring it up to a boil and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. To be honest with you guys, this is the first time I ever worked with this type of conk before. So it was a wild guess and it turned out 20 minutes was perfect, a little bit longer and the mussels would have become tough and chewy. So after they're done cooking, rinse them in cold water to stop the cooking. So this is the fun part and it's gonna take a few of them before you get the touch of it. So take a skewer or a small fork and slowly work out the conch meat and turn the skewer as you're pulling. So the foot is the hard play on the bottom of the conch. It looks and feels like a big fish scale and this is an edible so just pull it off and throw it away. The second part you gotta remove is the lining along the muscle. This is part of the stomach, liver, and all the other innards inside. Don't eat this. It's very bitter and tastes terrible. Don't pull an Enzo Zimmerman on this one. So what you're left with is a single piece of muscle. Now the part that's closest to the foot is the toughest part. And normally with large conks, this section is usually cut off and discarded. And some fish fishermen will even use it for bait. but since these guys are the smaller version of what's harvested commercially, they're not as chewy, so I'm keeping them on. After you get all the meat out, rinse them again. They'll still be very sandy even though they were rinsed in the shell before. I rinsed this batch three times and they were still a bit sandy. Unless you like extra crunchy food, it's better to rinse them several times. Okay, so after you made sure there were no more sand, dry it off with paper towel and they should look something like this. At this point, they're ready to serve, but that would be too boring, and I doubt you're here to watch boring stuff, so let's dress it up a bit. This is teriyaki sauce. Sesame oil. Chopped scallion. And toasted sesame seeds. Put everything together and mix well. So for the salad base, use whatever greens you like and garnish with toppings you like. But keep in mind to use ingredients that won't steal the show. Remember, the focus point is the conch. So this time I'm using red bell pepper, radish, shredded daikon, and artichokes. And for the dressing, I'm going to mix in some grated ginger with ponzu sauce. I love using ponzu as a dressing because I think it pairs really well with um, a lot of seafoods, especially raw fish. So give it a try. If not, use some other type of vinaigrette dressing. I'm sure it'll go just as well. Aside from the salad, you can cut these into smaller strips and mix it in the same sauce as before. 
and turning into a hand roll or a sushi roll. But personally, I think the salad turned out the best because I can truly enjoy the full crunchy texture of the conch meat instead of it having uh, being it cut up. Some of you guys might be asking if conch can be eaten raw, and the answer is absolutely. In fact, most of them are served raw at the sushi bars anyway. But the only way to take out the conch meat when it's raw is to chisel the horn uh, on the back of the shell and there's a connecting muscle inside that you have to cut in order to release the meat. It's actually a pretty cool process if you've never seen it. Um, there's a few YouTube videos uh, you guys can check it out. But since these clumps were so small and I had so many, it's just easier to work with them cooked. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If this is your first time on this channel, please check out my playlist for more DIY sushi videos like this one. Please add your comments or questions below and feel free to make any suggestions on what future videos you would like to see. Alright guys, thanks a lot.